Chicken wings, smoked or fried. Let's combine them. Welcome back to another week of The Fogo Life. I'm your host as always, Captain Ron. So today we have something really cool. So I saw Matt Pittman from Meat Church do this. He calls them smoke of fried wings. And we're gonna be smoked and fried chicken wings. That's right. We're gonna smoke them first, and then we're gonna fry them for that extra crispiness. You know the one big complaint everybody always says, oh, I like smoked wings, but they're never crispy enough. Oh, they're gonna be crispy enough today. Let's get started and let me show you how to do it. So of course I always like to use party wings, which means they come in individual sections, but today of course we wanna film a video, so all I could find was whole three-piece wings. So what we're gonna do is show you how to cut these wings because we're going to fry them later and they will fit a whole lot better into the frying pot if they are cut into sections. So, party wings, woo baby, it's a party. You know, the nice part about doing this like this is that you know, normally when I'm doing wings, I'm gonna cut them into sections like this. I'm gonna lay them all flat out onto a onto like a rack and set them out overnight in the refrigerator, salt the skin, do the whole process, and it's gonna take overnight. This way, I just took these right out of the package and we are getting started on cooking them. So, next step, seasoning. When we're seasoning these things, we're gonna do it a little bit differently. Normally, I'll kind of load them up and give them a real good coating of seasoning, but because we're going to fry them at the end, we don't want all that seasoning to burn on them. No, we don't want that at all. So what we're going to do instead is we're gonna put a light coat of seasoning on them because they're gonna get plenty of flavor from the smoke and then from the fried, and we're gonna do it with two different things. We're gonna use a little bit of our Nashville hot honky tonk seasoning and some Jacobson's garlic salt here. Just a little bit of each, just gonna sprinkle it on and then throw it right onto the big green egg. Yeah! The next part is really simple. We're just gonna mix them up and coat these things evenly, all right? Just like I said, we didn't use a ton of seasoning, just enough to give them a little flavor flav, and that looks pretty good to me. We've got the egg rolling at 300 degrees. We're gonna talk about temperatures in a little while. That's where I'm gonna cook these at though. But it's time that we load these on here. So you see the drums? I always like to take it and put the fatter part towards the outside, okay? So that when the heat is coming up, it's hitting the fatter part of the wing first. Kind of makes sense when you think about it. And the last one goes on. All right, notice we have space in between all of them so that the smoke and the hot air can get all around them and cooking evenly. And that's what we want, an evenly cooked wing. Now I wanna cover a couple of things with you about smoking wings. Poultry tends to take on um, smoke flavor really well. So normally when I'm smoking, I'm gonna use some barrel proof bourbon barrel smoking blocks here. They're really great. But, you know, I find like I said, poultry kinda puts on a lot. Our wood, our charcoal is made of kiln dried wood. So when you put that in there, you're already using wood. So it's gonna get naturally a, a kind of a wood flavor, smoky flavor to it automatically. Also, if you wanna smoke your flavor, cook them at a lower temperature. We're cooking these at 300, cause I don't want an overly smoky wing. But if you cook them at like 250, 225, you're gonna do the same thing. You're just not gonna have, a, you're gonna get more smoky flavor because it's got that more of a smoldery fire and you're gonna get a smokier flavor on your wing. So if you want more smoke, add some wood blocks or cook them at a lower temperature on your grill. Now the second part of our cook is that we're going to fry the wings. So we're gonna light this grill up here so that I have this pot all heated, all ready to go. So when we take it off of there, we can put it right on here. You could do this on one grill, we just wanna save a little time and do it like this. We're gonna let this heat up till the oil itself is 350 degrees. That is the perfect temperature for frying wings. Our wings are almost done, our oil's almost heated up. Let's talk about wing sauce. We're gonna make my famous wing sauce. It is the best wing sauce, buffalo style, that you'll ever find. I promise you, everybody that tries it, they absolutely love it. I have a buddy, tried to claim it was his. Two thirds of a cup hot pepper sauce. I like to use Frank's Red Hot. One stick or a half a cup of cold unsalted butter. One and a half tablespoons white vinegar. A little sprinkling of Jacobson's garlic salt. Just a little splash of Worcestershire sauce. And I like to top it off with a little bit of Robin Sunshine State of Mind. Let's see here, our oil is at 358 degrees. We are ready to go. Let's grab some wings and put it on. I'm so excited. Right into here. Be very careful. Do not throw them in. You don't want them spilling that oil, okay? You don't want that. Trust me when I tell you. Now, as they're frying, you can move them around. Be very gentle. We don't want to spill this oil. Have I mentioned that before yet? We don't want to spill this oil. Oh, boy, it's time. They've been cooking for five minutes. So we let these... We let these fry in here for five minutes at 350 degrees and they look awesome. So we're gonna put them on our drip and grill pan here and let them drain for a little bit. We don't want oily wings, right? And there we have smoker fried wings. You wanna talk about crispiness? Listen to that. That's some crispy skin right there. Yes, all right, time for saucing. Now the beautiful thing about these is they are absolutely gorgeous. You know, 
Smoked wings are one thing, and then fried wings are a whole nother color. This is the best of both worlds and a combination that just is absolutely gorgeous. You know, it's so funny, I don't know. Through this whole thing, I think that food is beautiful now. What's wrong with that? Not a thing, I don't think. Let me just grab my sauce here. And you know that that pan handle is really hot. The one thing I love, these carbon steel pans just transfer this heat so beautifully. Got enough sauce for 432 wings, I think. Now for the tricky and messy part. Oh, look at that. Oh, the kid's nailing it. Didn't even lose a single wing. I don't know how I did that. I always lose one. Today's a good day, folks. Smoke of fried wings and no spilled sauce and no lost wings. Boom. <laughs> don't they look awesome? They are so good. Let me tell you something. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dude, you gotta try one of these. I'm sorry. <laughs> you gotta try one of these. All right. Oh my God. I'm not gonna lie. That might be the best wing that I've ever had in my entire life. That, I mean, I, look, I know I get to the end of these videos and I always say how good it is. That may be the best wing that I have ever had in my entire life. You know what else? I ate a drum. I always eat the flats. I don't know why I picked up a drum. Even that is so good. It's got that just kiss of smoke that I love. It's not inundated with smoke. It's just a kiss of smoke. They have beautiful color. They're crunchy. They have flavor. The seasoning was perfect. We put just the right amount of seasoning on them. If you overload it, it's gonna burn on there or it's gonna burn when you put it in the oil. Don't do that. Let that natural flavors of that chicken shine through. Have you ever just taken a chicken wing and just fried it like that? Fantastic when you cook it right. But these are, you know, I'm kind of sad because I went inside and I wanted to share this with my family. I said, you gotta come out, you gotta try this, you gotta be, they're all gone, nobody's home. And I was sad. Then I thought about it and I got really happy. You know why? I get to eat all of these myself. Yeah, you're gonna have a couple too. I know, relax, relax. He's gonna have some too. Anyway, folks, Smoke of Fried Wings, Matt Pittman, Malcolm Reed, thank you. I saw your guys' video on this and I had to repeat it. I'm telling you what, you guys nailed it. And I'm so glad you did. And I'm so glad I get to make this for myself. This is so good. Guys, try this wings out. Smoked, then fried. Do it a little, you want a little smoke, smokier? Like I said, cook it at a lower temperature. That's fine. The sauce, phenomenal. I mean, the ingredients that go in the sauce, you, you just can't beat them. Guys, if you saw anything that we used in this video and you liked it, you wanted that Ramatoff Dutch oven pot is great for the grill, okay? There's always a link down below for any of the items that I used and that down below you can get them for yourself too, okay? So it's great. The other thing is there's always a full recipe. There's a full recipe and blog in the description below. There's a link, I promise you it's there. I write it myself. So that's all I've got for you. I'd love to stay and chat more, but I wanna get to work on these things because they're so good. They're crunchalicious, baby. Smoke of fried wings. Get out and grill and fry, and I'll see you the next time on The Fogo Life.